What's going on everybody? Back at it again with another video. My name is Aryan, and today we're gonna be taking a look at what I eat in the course of a day. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me throughout my day, vlog style, but I'm gonna be showing you what I eat, how much of it I eat, and the nutrition facts and everything behind what I eat. I'm a student athlete, I play basketball, so that means in the course of a day, I probably have between two to three training sessions, two hours worth of basketball, about an hour, an hour and a half worth of lifting. So I'm burning a lot of calories. That's why you're gonna see I'm eating a lot of calories. For me, to get to where I wanna go with my fitness goals and maintaining my body weight and athleticism, I typically try to aim between eating between 3,990 to 4,100 calories a day. Now you might be thinking that's a lot of calories, but I have to say, yes, it is a lot of calories, but I'm burning a lot of calories too. So you're gonna see what I eat in the course of my day as a student athlete, as a basketball player. So let's get right into it. So first and foremost, I like to start my day with breakfast. That's my favorite and most enjoyable meal of the day. I love waking up in the morning after not having things all night and just having a good solid breakfast to jumpstart my day. So I typically have three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I try to make those about a thousand calories each. And then I have four snacks and try to make those 250 or more calories each. That way I'm getting to my goal of about 4,000 calories. So for today, What's with the breakfast is I got two breakfast sandwiches on them, English muffin, I got some melted cheese, I got two eggs in them, three strips of bacon between the two, and a full avocado. I have that with some apple slices and a glass of orange juice, and then to top it all off, just for an additional added protein, I have a protein pancake with just a little bit of maple syrup on it. This breakfast fills me up before work or before I start my day. So typically I have this breakfast around 9 a.m. So I try to get this solid, solid breakfast in to hold me down for the next couple hours at least. So one other thing is that I track all of my food in my fitness pal. That way I get a real good understanding of what I'm eating in a day so I'm not under eating because I don't want to be burning a ton of calories and not eating enough to back up. English muffin, two of those, two eggs, three strips of bacon, one apple, one avocado, one protein pancake, and just a little bit of cheese. So the total for this breakfast is 1,128 calories. And the nutrition facts are 119 grams of carbs, 53 grams of fat, but a lot of that's coming from the bacon and the avocado. And like I said, since I'm very, very active, I can burn a lot of that and 54 grams of protein. So solid breakfast. All right, real quick, let's talk about vitamins. I know it's not the most cool thing in the world, but I take vitamins, I take three of them to be exact. Every day I take one of the multivitamins, I take one vitamin C, and I take one omega. So the multivitamin has all the little vitamins that I don't get from my diet every day. Kind of have that just because apparently it's good for you. The vitamin C, I have that for the immune system, especially nowadays. Probably a good idea to have a vitamin, such as some vitamin C. And then omegas, some krill oil. So this one I've heard is good for joint pain and some muscle recovery stuff and a bunch of other health benefits. So I have one of these too. Since today's my day off, I'm gonna be going to the gym and I'm gonna be running some errands that normally I don't get to do during the day. So it's perfect, but I'm gonna make sure that I keep eating and I keep getting my proper meals in, even though we have a pretty busy day ahead of us. All right, super, super nice and sunny day today. A little too sunny actually. But uh, yeah, so next thing that I eat is this little cliff bar right here. And this is kind of like my secret weapon because I have this about 
I would say one and a half to two hours after eating breakfast. It packs in 260 calories with like 11 grams of protein. So super quick, easy way to get some extra calories and extra protein in. And this is my favorite flavor. This is the crunchy peanut butter flavor. So right now I'm going to the gym and I have this on the way in the car and to be honest, this is like the only like kind of protein health type of bar that I really enjoy. I think the other ones taste like crap. So Cliff Bar is the next thing. It brings the calorie count for the day to about 1450. All right, now it's time to get a quick workout in. About to hit a full body workout some functional training. We're gonna get another meal and a protein shake right after the workout. A few moments later. Woo! I know I'm in the same spot, but I just hit a workout. Workout was pretty good. Good to be back in the gym. Good to be back around people. It's good vibes all around. Now it's for the thing that I usually don't get, but since it's such a nice day, since it's so beautiful outside, I have to. I just have to. So you know on a hot summer day I had to get the ice cream, Baskin Robbins. Baskin Robbins is the best ice cream I think, it's better than all these other places. Hits different on a hot summer day. You know I gotta go with cookies and cream, classic flavor, nothing else, nothing else will do. Cookies and cream all the time. I got a double scoop of this right after the workout, honestly so worth it, so worth it. And this one is about 450 calories. So when I get back from the gym, I usually make a quick protein shake. I have Optimal Nutrition Chocolate Whey Protein, and I mix that with a cup of lactose-free milk. I've shifted all my milk to lactose-free milk now because I feel like now, I don't know, I tried it one time before and I felt really good having it. I kind of feel just less heavy or less kind of bloated or I don't know what the word is, but I just feel better drinking lactose-free milk. So that's what I've shifted to. So protein shake right after the gym, most of the times it's just milk and protein. Well, sometimes Sometimes what I do is I mix some berries, some peanut butter, um, a banana, um, and the protein shake. So I'll have like a little quick protein smoothie. Today it's just a regular protein shake with milk. So this little guy right here is a total of 250 calories. Quick and easy, it's just high in protein, not the most calorie dense thing. I'm not having no weight gainer, it's just regular whey protein and it tastes pretty good too. lunch after the gym keep it pretty simple I go for a nice pasta and I go for some salad with it so this is the breakdown for it so all in all two slices of cheese which is 160 calories about half a cup of milk two tablespoons of butter uh, one cup of mixed vegetables so right now I have broccoli green peppers and zucchini in here and a half servings of penne pasta I got one cup of lettuce and some Caesar dressing so all in all, that brings the total for lunch to 1,062 calories. So that brings the total calories until now to 2,770 calories. And we got 1,163 calories to go. So pasta is one of my favorite foods to eat because one, it tastes really good. Two, you can put a bunch of vegetables in it that you would normally not like the taste of and you can camouflage it with a sauce. Three, it provides you with some carbs that keep me energized for basketball. And four, it just tastes really good. Like again, and then on the side, some Caesar salad because vegetables in the system. And I could afford to have some of this higher calorie sauce because I'm burning it through basketball and through training. All right, so for dinner, like I said, my three meals, which is breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I try to make a thousand calories each. So breakfast over a thousand calories, Lunch, 1,000 calories. Dinner, try to make it around 1,000 calories, but if my breakfast or lunch is big, then I have a little bit more room to play with. And my dinner pretty much these days is Indian food, not home cooking, because I live at home currently. So my mom makes dinner, or my grandma makes dinner for the family. So tonight, a lot of these names, I don't really know in English, but it's basically two cups of rice. It's a serving of lentils, it's the, the dark lentils. Some yogurt on the side 
and uh, it's like a special Indian type of yoga that actually goes well with it. And then okra, okra, okra in English. So that brings this meal to about 800 calories and it's a little bit under a thousand, but since my breakfast was almost 1200, that kind of evens out. So dinner is good. So yeah, dinner is mostly Indian food for me, unless, uh, unless we're cooking something up. Now only one more little snack to go after dinner. All right, the last and final thing that I'll eat before bed, a little snack, a little bit of dessert. It's either Ritz crackers or chips. Not the biggest candy guy, so I'm not eating candy too much in the day or really ever. Um, I'm more of like a little munchies type of guy. So I'll have some crackers, I'll have some chips, some just to kind of make me not feel hungry at night. Somewhere I could just kind of just pig out just a little bit and uh because i just enjoy it for dessert a handful of crackers which is about 200 calories but after the crackers that brings the total for the day to 3977 calories that's pretty much right where i want it to be so pretty much around 4,000 calories a day that's how i eat that's everything that i eat in the day this is pretty normal of a day um, not too much not too little so this is like an i would say just an average day of eating and then again like i said i do eat a lot because i'm burning a lot of calories so with basketball with training and with lifting and other things those calories are being burned up really quick so that's why i'll be eating 3,900 to 4,100 calories every day and that's going to do it for me in this video make sure you click that thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed now will be a great time to join the community I really appreciate each one of you so so much and i'm going to be back again with another video real soon see you guys in the next one peace